personal learning. Social awareness. Interdisciplinary collaboration. Professional responsibility. Woo! Sustainability. The big picture. So you think you can? Engineer. <laughs> on the Queen's campus, Engineers Without Borders hosted So You Think You Can Engineer. We brought together students and professors from every discipline of engineering. Also, university administrators and a representative from Engineers Canada came out. We were asking some tough questions, and here are the highlights. Because it's not balanced on the top. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Take it. Take it. Engineering hotline? Oh yeah. I have a serious problem. What is it? Well, I want to be a global engineer, but I don't know how. Well, there is a simple solution. Well, tell me what it is then. Just get involved with the global engineering program at your EWV chapter today. Wow, I didn't even think about that. Thanks so much, global engineering hotline. <laughs> no. Uh, so I, I was doing that for a year and a half. I lost half my hair at the time, and uh, and I got an opportunity actually to uh, to work, to go to Ghana uh, with engineers without borders. Okay, so I'm just going to talk a little bit more about Ghana uh, and uh, what I saw there, uh, what some of my work was there, uh, and uh, you know how I use my engineering skills. The disease was was a was a direct result. Uh, you had cholera, you had typhoid, you had diarrhea. That killed, in Africa, that kills 6,000 people a day. That's more than malaria. Just having access to basic water. Did you ever get sick while you were there? Yeah, uh, I think I was permanently in a state of sickness. I remember I actually used to say, I was like, I was like, I'm sitting in class, I'm in my stomach, what I eat? I'm like, yeah, this is what I used to feel like all the time when I was in Ghana. You had a community of uh, 4,693 people. You had zero boreholes in that area. You had places with Negligible populations with many water facilities. This is a, this is a real, this is data from our actual district. Right. So the, the whole point is that the reason why I'm telling you this stuff is that aid and innovation, it isn't enough. It isn't enough. It's important. It's needed. But there's a lot more to the problem than that. Just just building technology or providing resources. I, I fell in love with working with the government. I love working with the government. It's corrupt. It's bureaucratic. <laughs> it's all the things you think it is. But it has such potential to make a difference. One tweak of the system, you could make a difference with thousands of people. Uh, we have a workshop tomorrow at 5.30. Third floor of the Queen Center, room A620. Michaela will be leading that one. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so Engineers of Borders focuses really primarily on building opportunities for uh, rural farmers in their four African project countries. 
So I think we looked at that a lot last semester through the workshops we did there. Um, we looked at the specific projects and looked at um, agriculture and development in that sector. And then this semester we kind of try, try we've been trying to expand on that, um, and we've tried to look at other underdeveloped communities. So we had the presentation uh, with Erica and Heather on Argentina. We had Jasper come in and talk to us about the project she's doing on Romania. But this week is way bigger than that. It's not just about development. It's about trying to create global engineers. And then actually, yeah, if one person from each group wants to bring their chart paper up to the we can see the wall here. I like how the check marks are going upside down as well. <laughs> So if we can have this discussion, you can bring up some of those ideas, but let's also try to kind of focus on the um, steps that you can take to become a better computer problem solver. Okay, so, so you think an engineer was pretty awesome this year, but you know what? I think it'd be so much bigger. I mean, think about it. It was just four core people working all week to put together all those events this year. Imagine what we could do if we had a full committee. We'd get more professors, more students, and more people engaged in general. And I think that would be way more exciting. And if we're gonna get professors engaged, we should talk to them early on and get them to contribute to the vision. Also, we could poll students and find out what kind of issues they care about and would like to see at a conference like this. We should bring in people from other universities, make it a full weekend conference, and we'd have events and food and everything. Yeah, yeah. I really like that idea. We could advertise throughout the year, we could get an article competition going to get the word out and build momentum through print media. Hmm, so this sounds like a full-time initiative. And you know who could attend the conference? We would get students and faculty to attend and work to get them engaged and involved in a more meaningful way. Definitely. And if we bring together all of these students and professors, I think we could build such a great conference that we would be so proud to showcase to those other universities. Oh man, this is getting exciting. So um, what do you think? What kind of issues could we focus on? Well, I think we could talk about global and Canadian issues. Right, because being a global engineer doesn't necessarily mean always working internationally. Definitely not. It means understanding your work in a broader context. Also thinking about social impacts and being interdisciplinary. Okay, okay, so we could look at issues like sustainability and energy policy. Definitely. We could also talk about water issues, like supply and treatment problems. So really we're looking at technical challenges, institutional challenges, and the role that engineers have to play in tackling these challenges. And I really think it's about the foundation that we build in our curriculum, but also new ideas that we can bring to industry. Mm -hmm. So it's also important though to look at engineers in non-traditional roles. I totally agree. There's just so many great ideas. But we know that you have so many more. So comment on this video and tell us what issues you care about and you'd like to see at conference next year. And what type of sandwiches you'd like. We hope to see you at So You Think You Can Engineer 2012. 2012.